Hi, I'm Eva Murphy from Electronic Engineering at IT Sligo, and this is my Leave Insert Maths Grinds channel. I'll regularly add new videos for both higher and ordinary level maths, so make sure you subscribe below and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos. Right, let's let's find some limits of, of, of these sequences. Okay, so part one. Tn is equal to 5n plus 3 over 2n minus 1. So does a limit exist for this? Okay, so to do this, we're going to use some of the theory um, that we went through um, a few minutes ago. Okay, so the first point in that theory was the fact that n and n plus 8 were practically the same. Okay, so the plus 3 um, onto 5n wouldn't make much difference, okay? So let's examine this, the limit as n tends to infinity of 5n plus 3 over 2n minus 1. So basically, I've just taken this down and instead of tn, I've put in the, the what they've given me. Okay, so n is approaching infinity. So n is a very, very big number, okay? Which means the plus three here really has no bearing on, on 5n. 5n is too large for, for three more to make any difference. In the same way, subtracting off one from 2n will make no difference, okay? So therefore, I can write this as um, the limit as n tends to infinity. 5n over 2n. And the ends are going to cancel. So therefore, I am going to get a limit on that one of 5 over 2. Okay, let's have a look at question two. Let's evaluate this one. So as the limit as n tends to infinity of 5n minus 2 over n squared plus 3n plus 2. Okay, so again, like before, the minus 2 is going to have no bearing on the top. So I can write the top as 5n. Now on the bottom, okay, the plus 2 is going to have no bearing at all. Okay, the other thing of note is that n squared is much, much bigger than an n term. Okay, so really on the bottom, the overarching term is the n squared. Okay, once you square a very large number, you get a, a much, much bigger number. So adding on 3n and 2 is again, not going to make too much difference. So I'm going to cancel one of the n's and then have a look at it. So the limit as n tends to infinity of five over n Okay, um, so when back in the day when I was doing these, what I would put into my calculator is something like five over a million. Okay, um, just to see what would happen. Okay, and you can see then you get this number one over 2000 or five by 10 to the minus six, which is a tiny number. Okay, so that number, when n is on the bottom, and n is a very large number, when you divide by a very, very large number, you get practically nothing. Okay, so if you think about it, if that was five euros you were sharing out between a million people, everybody would get practically close to zero. Okay, so that one is zero. Let's have a look at the third question. So again, let's evaluate it. The limit as n tends to infinity of 7n squared minus 5 over 3n plus 2. So again, the minus 5 and the plus 2 are not going to have much of an impact. So let's, let's get rid of them. Let's cancel one of the n's. So now we're looking at the limit as n tends to infinity of 7n over 3. Okay, n is on the top in this case, okay? So again, imagine that a million 
So now you've 7 million divided by three, okay? So once N is on the top, this number can get bigger and bigger and bigger. So as N gets bigger, as N approaches infinity, this number gets bigger, okay? So it's divergent, so therefore no limit exists. Um, some places you may see infinity written down for that one, okay? Um, mathematically, that is not correct. It's not correct to say that um, infinity is a limit, okay? Because infinity doesn't really exist. It's, it's this made up term. So it's better to say that no limit exists rather than put down infinity. Okay, so the last example, and you can see I have four different examples here to show you the different scenarios that can occur. Um, this one here, how does this work? Okay, well, we have this constant, f f a fifth in this one. So again, just like before, the limit is n tends to infinity of a fifth minus one over n plus one. Okay, so this is a constant. It's, we'll just carry it down and see what happens. Now, this is the one that... Um, we need to work with, okay? So this is the limit as n tends to infinity of a fifth minus one over n, okay? So let's have a look at this number. So if you can remember what happened when n was on the bottom. So when n, n is a huge number, n is on the bottom, this whole thing approaches zero, okay? So therefore, this one is equal to a fifth, okay? So as n gets bigger, this approach is zero, so it's a fifth minus zero, so you're left with just the fifth. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not join us in IT Sligo and use maths in practice? In conjunction with industry, we've designed an exciting new program in electronics and self-driving technologies which uses cutting edge techniques such as artificial intelligence, computer vision and virtual and augmented reality. You'll need a H5 in maths to qualify. Check out the link below.